to the Philippians, the heart of Paul. Yes. Paul was a soldier. Now, we never understood it until Paul was ready to die for Christ. He was ready to die. Whatever it took, he was ready to die. And sometimes you got a question like, why? I'm ready, right now, in this day, I'm ready to die. Yes, sir. For Christ. Yes. Because I had to go through some things to prepare my heart. He had to dissect some things in my heart. This trial and this tribulation had to be, some things had to come out of me. Yes. I had to learn how to love, embrace. Amen. We're not going to, I don't have that much time, so I'm just going to bring it. Take your time, brother. As much as I can. Take your time. You know, uh, on, Philippians chapter 1, verse 12. Let me know when you're there. Yes, amen. But I want you to know, brethren, that the things which happened to me have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel. So that it has become evident to the whole palace guard and to all the rest that my chains are in Christ. And most of the brethren in the Lord have become, become confident by my chains are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Paul's attitude with the both good and bad promoted the gospel further it, meant to blaze a trail. Paul's difficult circumstances opened the opportunity for the gospel witness. Some things you're going through will witness to somebody else. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's right. right. How she made it. Yeah. Whatever it is, whoever this is, I, whoever you claim, whoever has touched, whoever has anointed and appointed, I need that. You find yourself getting closer and closer to them. Individuals that were placed that they got that burning and that fire out of you. Yes. Yes. Your witness, your life is everything in this walk. Yes. You have nothing without your walk. That's right. Especially if you proclaim Jesus Christ. Yes. If you never confess that Jesus Christ was Lord, that's all you have. That's it. That's all you, you have, nothing else. Go on tell them you can't go back. No. It's like a dog in vomit, going to his vomit, returning to his vomit. And then he come back and say, no more things, I know I'm a little women. Yes. It took how I many it was since 2007. <laughs> it's just now taking this long, to, taking this long for me to just open up to this calling and receive it. Yeah. I have, my, thank God for my pastor, my mentor. Yeah, man. They seen it in a long time ago. I'm no, not me. <laughs> Until he shook me. Put me in chains. In prison. I'm gonna hold you hostage. You're gonna do what I called you to do. Yes. Yes. I love you that much. You just know the others. Yes, yes. Struck me down, took everything from me. Then struck my husband down and brought him forth. Yes. Chains. Yes. That no man can take off. Yes. That he places on. Yes. Nobody can take that. Nobody can take that off. He put him on there. I couldn't even take him off. I'm fighting. That's been all I said, why are you fighting so much? <laughs> you got to grab hold of put your knee and all that fight. They ain't getting no money. Verse 19, for I know that this will turn out for my deliverance. <laughs> my chains will deliver me. My chains are gonna deliver me. Your chains are gonna deliver me. Yes. 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 Through your prayer and the supply of the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation, hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness, as always. So now also Christ will be magnified in my body. In my body, he will be magnified. Yes. Whether by life or by death, for to me, to live is Christ. And to die in pain. Yeah. Yes. But if I live on in my flesh, yeah. this will be fruit from my land. Amen. Yet what I shall choose, I cannot tell you. For I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better, nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. Come on. And being confident in this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy of faith. 
Now you're rejoicing for me, may be more abundant in Christ Jesus by coming to you again. Hmm. Many times I've walked away. And the only thing that kept me from turning completely away was the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. To be placed in individuals' lives that I knew I had an effect on. And the tears running down their face when they said there was nothing they could do. They seen the hurt in the bed of affliction that I found. And there was nothing they could do any day they cried. Because they just didn't know how. But I knew then that it was beneficial for the body for me to have gone through what I'm going, going through it now. I'm going through it now and I know that it hurts. My husband had to go through his suffering, longing to go with Christ, but yet it is beneficial for him to be here with me and my son. Yes. And for others that will see the deliverance that will take place in his heart. Yes. He has to be here. Yes. Although he desires to be with the Lord. Yes. He has to be yes. My mother on her bed of affliction and death wanted to be here. But she had to leave. Yes. Because now it wasn't for mommy and Amber, Jesus. I need you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To know that there's a reason your mind and everything has failed and everybody has turned it back to know that I am your God. Yes. When the music stops and the drummer stops beating, the emotions are over. You at home. Yes. Nobody to encourage you. Somebody, he ain't gonna make anybody available to you. That's right. That's right. He's gonna set you aside so he can deal with you. Yes. Amen. Call him. I get so frustrated with the church folk, but why can't you never see? Yes. Every time you go to somebody in, while praying for me, and it wasn't their fault. The Lord just didn't make them available to us. You have to go through. That's right. Some things you're going to come through. Spirit of Lord and Job, his Job was crushed. And I, I did a study in Job. I said, well, I want to bring out the study and, you know, you don't come from my word, which you already give me. Because a lot of the study was based off of somebody else doing the study. And I need you to come with my anointing yeah. and the endurance and the experience and to deliver my word the way I have taught you yeah. and still need you to deliver my word. So I couldn't do the study. So we're going to go with Job chapter 1. And there was a man in the, in the land of others whose name was Job. And that man was blameless and upright. He was blameless and upright. He was not sinless. He was not sinless. Right. He was blaming this up right with me. He had a, he had a, a relationship. Yeah. A yeah. relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah, he burnt sacrifices. He yeah. went forth because he didn't know what his children was doing. Yeah. And they ate, they said that he went and he ate with his, the, the siblings ate together. You can just imagine going to function with your family, yeah. you hanging out. Yeah. This is what they did on the regular. So Job went forth and, and, and burnt these sacrifices because he just didn't know what his children were doing. You don't know. Your children get old enough to, to spread their wings and fly. Yeah. You just don't know everything that your children are doing. You say, well, Lord, because you are my good and faithful redeemer. Yes. You're my God, the job of the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, because Christ had came. I want to burn these sacrifices. So he had 10 children, and he was just a blessed man. Very blessed. Had everything that you could just imagine. Just, he was really just blessed. Now here we go. Here, here, here we go. In the fact that you don't know what's going on in the spiritual atmosphere in the rain. Yeah. You don't know what's going on. It says so chapter one, verse six. Now there there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came along with them. And you see he's going right there with them. Mm -hmm. This is a spiritual this is a spiritual realm you don't see. You don't see this. He living it up. Home. Ten children blessed. Yeah. Yet Satan's still with him. Into the spiritual realm. He blessed on earth. He don't know nothing that's going on in the spiritual realm. Yeah. Satan go along with him. And he said, From where do you come from? Satan asked the Lord and said, Well, from going and forth, back and forth on the earth. And you know we don't live on earth. This is his place. This is his playground. 
We're ambassadors. This is flavoring. He said, then the Lord said to say, you had to consider. Now, 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 now the Lord brought Job up to say it. <laughs> say you didn't bring up right. to Job. Right. He said, well, have you considered? Mm, mm. And this is his God. This is who he worshiped and burned sacrifices to. He brought him up. You consider my, my son Job. That is none like you on earth. A blameless and upright man. One who fears God and shuns evil. So Satan answered the Lord, said, Did Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him? Mm. Perfect example. There's a hedge around a believer. Yeah. Yes. You just got to go through. Right. There's a hedge around a believer. You're a believer in Jesus Christ is a hedge around him. Yes. So he said, around his house, oh, and around all that he had on every side, you have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But now stretch out your hand and touch all that Job, all that he had, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has in your power. Only do not lay a hand on this person. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Satan challenged Job's motives for fear of God. He suggested that Job's devotion to God depending on his, depending on his life circumstances, that he, he only prayed God and yeah. sent up sacrifices to God because of what he was blessed with. And I'm going to show you how faithful and had nothing to do with his possessions. Absolutely nothing. It was a relationship. It was the love that you gave him. They kept him in that walk. It wasn't what he had. Because to go through this much pain and endurance and still stand in your watch and get you curse God and die. Mm -hmm. How you got 10 kids with a woman and she tell you that? Uh, mm -hmm. right. You got 10 kids with a woman and she tell you to curse God mm -hmm. and die. Mm -hmm. That's how you look at that she doesn't stop. She shared life with this man. Mm -hmm. She shared life with this man. <laughs> 10 kids. Yeah, man. You got ten kids with this man. You tell him. <laughs> At a bad affliction to curse God and die. Let's see. Mm -hmm. But I understand it. Because I didn't know how to love in a bed of affliction. Right, that's right. Yeah. I didn't know how to go home and nurture my husband in a bed of I'm just be trash Yeah. Because somebody needs this. Yeah. Amen. I got married at 19 years old. I didn't know how to be a wife. I was just taught as very, very to burn. Yeah. And because my mother was walking in holiness, she didn't allow me to shack up. Amen. But not even knowing it, it was far more important than that. Mm -hmm. It was ordained. Yeah. This marriage was ordained. Yes. I didn't know how to go home and love. This, that's why I said this trial was going to make me or break me. Yeah. 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 Then Job arose toward his men, verse 20. Job arose toward his robe and shaved his head. And he fell to the ground in the worship. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. There the Lord gave, as the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Tearing one's garment and shaving his head were symbolic acts of grief. Job's falling to the ground to worship God reflected the traditional method of showing reverence. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to switch up because now Job got some homeboys that come along and just did a do <laughs> They didn't know what to say. They just, well, they see him from a distance and didn't even recognize him. They didn't even recognize him. 
They see him from a distance and was just, they, they, they lost him. Because they see he was covered in this. Yes. Amen. Chapter 2. Take the task, Job Hill. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to represent, to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came along among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, for where did he come from? Satan answered the Lord and said, from the earth and from walking back and forth. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil. And still he holds, still held his integrity. And still you hold fast his integrity, although you incited me against him. You have to go against my servant. It's all for cause. Yeah. It's all for reason. To destroy him with our cause. So Job don't even know that the Lord understands that what he was doing was without cause. Yeah. He knew Job didn't have to prove himself throughout the scriptures of Job. He kept saying, Why are you? Why is the Lord doing this? Don't you know I'm faithful? If somebody can just go to you, can somebody just be an advocate and just go to God and tell him, I'm faithful. I remain faithful. I stood, I ran terribly, I did it all that I had. Why is he doing this? The Lord understood. So Satan asked the Lord and says, skin for skin. Yes, all that a man has he will give for his life. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and flesh and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand, but spare his life. Satan has no authority. He's going to do what God told him to do. You see how he reported to God? That's right. Had to answer him. Yep. Mm -hmm. Couldn't go no further with God alive. That's right. That's right. That's the same in our mind. Some of you would have been in this. Yes. Some of you would have been out of your mind. Yes. Enslaved. Yes. Don't know how to come back. You want to run people running in the streets and walking out of here? God allowed it. Yeah. He allowed you to keep it in your right mind. Amen. That shows you right there. Yeah. Amen. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took for himself a pot shed with which he which went to scrape himself. While he sat in the midst of the ashes, then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Mm -hmm. Curse God and die. Mm -hmm. Satan promised to afflict Job was limited by the Lord. The severity of Job's condition would convince his friends that Job was being punished for sin. Woo! Mm -hmm. Everything you do, no, 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 because you see it going through. Right. Don't look at nobody else. And say, they got to be living wrong. Mm -hmm. They got to be sinning. You know, we're back into their life. Look at that. Right. They're going through too much. Don't do that. Amen. Amen. Don't do that. You don't know what God is allowing. It might bless you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That might be the very person that has to come forth and lay hands on you. That's right. Be careful. Be careful with that. Marcus and, and, and John. Nobody knew what you went through. Amen. I didn't know. But it ministered to me in my walk through what I'm doing. Amen. Amen. Spoke to me, sis. Nobody seen a tear. Don't know how many tears you're going to cry at all. That's right. Don't know. But I know you're walking here in service. Ooh, that's right. And you put your hands in the sky. Are you crazy? Yes. Sometimes you probably feel like you're up here and, and, and having a choir and God to the choir. But you still need it. Yes. That blessing. Amen. You have much more compassion when you go through something. Yes. Amen. Amen. You come from a place of love. Yes. Amen. Not judging. Yes. I come from a place of love because I've been out going through it. Yes. I'm going through it right now. But I ain't even looking at that. I'm living where you may see me. Yes. And hoping you can set someone free because it's just not, it's not me. All right. Yes. It has nothing to do with me. 
Hands up to me, I'll be somewhere wondering. Oh, in la la la.